you guys and welcome back to another video. I am giving you a slightly quicker video I suppose than usual um, but I am bringing you a review for the Pure Dead series by Debbie Gliori uh, consisting of Pure Dead Magic, Pure Dead Wicked, Pure Dead Brilliant, Deep Trouble, Deep Water and Deep Fear. This series is one of my all-time favourite children's series and I read this as a kid and I am just still so in love with it. The nostalgia hit so much. I'm going to put these down now. The nostalgia hit so much. Um, there were even like full sentences that I was remembering from the amount of times that I reread it when I was a kid. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been an excellent experience to to be rereading this series. Um, but this series follows the Strigger Borgia family, who are comprised of, at the moment at least, uh, Titus, who is a twelve year old boy, Pandora, who is a ten year old girl, Damp, who is their fourteen month old baby sister at the beginning of the series at least, um, Luciano and Baki. Strega Borgia, which are their parents. Uh, Strega Nonna, who is their great, 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 great grandmother, who is cryogenically preserved in the kitchen freezer. And finally, we also have some um, mafia relatives as well, which would be uh, Lucifer de Sombuelli Borgia, which is the half brother of, um, of Luciano Strega Borgia. And then also Don. Chimera di carne borgia, which in Italian means the chimera of meat borgia. Um, and he is the grandfather of Titus, Pandora and Damp, and he is deceased. So yeah, there are a lot of strange elements to this in the Strogus Gloss Mansion, which is this mansion that you see here, which is in Scotland. We also see um a lot of unusual animals that live with this family which are multitudina which is the illiterate she's a rat that is illiterate but it can talk um tarantella who is a spider with an attitude and very bright lipstick uh sab who is the yeti that lives in the dungeon along with his companions not who is a griffin and fup who is a dragon in later installments we also get further animals coming and living with them and then there is also Tuck who is the crocodile that lives in the moat and um, yeah it's it's a very very bizarre series and then most importantly I think in a way we have the help from Shrugger's Glass which are uh, Mrs Flora McLaughlin who is the nanny to Titus, Pandora and Damp. We have um, Mary Burn, Burn. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it's Burn, but it's B-A-I-N, but it's the Scottish pronunciation and I can't remember. <laughs> um, and she is the worst cook known to man. And then Latch, who is the very trusted butler. And it is so bizarre. It's so funny. It's so wacky. It's it, it's it's kind of like a, a a Terry Pratchett style level of absurdism, um, but even more nonsensical. And logic just ceases to exist um, in a fantastic way. It's so immersive. I I love all the characters. My, I I personally love the um, monsters and beasts and animals the most. I just think that they're brilliant. You know, um, Fup, is the, who is the dragon, is going through puberty. She goes through a gender crisis at one point. Um, and like no one questions, like it's not like in a bad way. It's not like, everyone thinks that, that Fup's a boy and then it's revealed that Fup's a girl, which is kind of spoilery, I suppose. Um, but it's just handled so well. It's just like, oh, by the way, I'm actually a girl. And I was like, oh, all right then. And that's it. And it, it's just handled really well for when it was written and yeah I don't know I just I really enjoy this series and the characters and the humour and it was fantastic to be back in this world. This first book follows the family as they are 
um, trying to find their father who has gone missing um, and they end up needing to use the internet which obviously was called the web so they get they elicit the help of Tarantella because she knows about webs and Titus who knows about computers and they want to try and find their father which is pretty cool um, I, I don't want to go too much into the series because I appreciate not a lot of people have actually read them and that saddens me and I want more people to read them but what I will say is is that if you like absurdist humor and you like absurdist fantasy it's 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 up there it really is it's still I mean I wouldn't say it still holds up in the sense that like kids would necessarily understand because it does obviously feature things that have changed drastically over the 20 years that this book has been out um, because it features stuff like the internet. I'm fairly certain this book's been out for 20 years. I think it's like early 2000s. Oh yeah, 2001. So nearly 20 years this book's been out. So obviously things like the internet have changed and our knowledge of it and our concept of it has changed. You know, the fact that you have a 12 year old kids emailing, like kids don't email anymore. But to to those of us who lived through that time period it's it still it still holds up in that sense so i feel like this is the kind of story that will give you nostalgia even if you've never read them before so it's kind of perfect for like 90s kids that are still thriving on that nostalgia so yeah i i would still personally very much recommend this series i again they are so short so there's not very much that i can say about them in a spoiler free review Aside from that, the characters are hugely well developed, but not in like a really over descriptive and disengaging way for children. Um, the beasts and the the pets and, and monsters and all of that are just absolutely brilliant. Their humour is fantastic. The wackiness of the entire series is brilliant. The writing style is incredibly approachable, and I can't I can't recommend the series enough. I I would highly recommend trying it out. Um, obviously bear in mind when it was written <laughs> but yeah I would recommend checking them out so yeah that is my very quick snappy and not very detailed uh, review of this series like I said it's a difficult one as a series to review because they are all so dinky like the longest one is like 300 pages so each book is so dinky that it's very hard for me to tell you what it's about aside from like the overview of the series and a bit of the first book but yeah I would recommend this series for sure but yeah that's it I'll leave you guys to it uh, so yeah if you've read this series do let me know in the comments down below I'd be very interested to know and um also, uh, if you haven't read this series and would consider picking it up, let me know. Um, and yeah, while you're down there, if you liked this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. Hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when I post a video. And in the description box, you'll find links to my Twitter, Instagram and Goodreads, as well as my blog. I post on here every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Reviews like this one go up on Sundays if I have one pending. And on my blog I post on Tuesdays and then if I have an overflow on Thursdays. So there are some weeks where I post every day but Saturdays. <laughs> anyway, that's, um, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.